Hey guys, I have a Thursday editorial for you, and I'm going to let you decide on this one. I'm, I, I think the cops messed up, but we're going to go through it. I'll let you comment in the comment section below on what I've said here. Um, I'm going to put a link to the video from Twitter that the girlfriend posted. She was recording. Put a link to the video in the description box below, along with the ABC7 news story. The link will be in the description box below. Thank you, Rob Elgis of ABC7 for this story. This story broke Tuesday, August 27th, and it's fresh. It just had happened when the story broke on Tuesday. <clears throat> I'm going to go through it. I think the cops kind of screwed up here, but... I you know, I'll let you guys decide. Now, the girlfriend is the only one that did anything right, as it appears. She recorded the police. If there was no video of this, then it would be the cop's version of this is what happened. But she recorded the whole incident. We see it on video. You did the right thing. That's the right thing to do. Pick up your smartphone and just start recording. <clears throat> That's That was the right thing. That was it. That was you on the money. The right action. But we're going to go to DeKalb, Illinois, and uh, look at what the DeKalb, Illinois police did. And, you know, uh, Chi-Town Sioux, Pink Camera Magic, you got your work cut out for you. Get over to DeKalb or send someone over there and find out what's going on with the DeKalb PD. Come on, Illinois, I'm out in California. I can't do it. Okay, you guys are assigned this mission. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start assigning this to cop watchers and auditors and say, hey, you guys go out here and, and see what's going on for us. So, uh, Sue and Pink Camera, you guys are there. Go check it out for us. But uh, what happens when you have a felony amount of cannabis in your car? Now, I don't necessarily disagree with having marijuana. There are positive effects to it. But if you have a felony amount, uh, until we get the voters to vote and the lawmakers to change it, if it's a felony and it's illegal, you're breaking the law. I, I don't know what else to say, but... Uh, again, when the police give you certain orders, you have to obey them. And these certain orders I'm re directly referring to, get your hands up, stop, don't run, get on the ground, move over here, you're detained, things of that nature. You don't take off running. You go, all right, all right, all right. But we don't know if we ran or not. We're going to go through the story and you'll see what I'm talking about right here. And I'll let you guys comment in the comment section below. An investigation has been launched after video was posted to social media showing DeKalb police appearing to choke a man, hold him on the ground, and use a taser on him during his arrest for a marijuana possession. <laughs> Elante McDowell admits he illegally possessed cannabis and should be held accountable, but he also believes the officers who arrested him should be held accountable for their use of force. He said, quote, this is what some police officers do and you have to put a stand on it. He says that in the, in the video. Now, McDowell is still shaken up, and his marks made when DeKalb police tased him are still healing, and in the video they show marks on his abdomen. His girlfriend recorded the now viral video showing him on the ground as police arrested him. She cries in the video, he has a pulse, right? Can you guys make sure he has a pulse? Because look at his face. Now, McDowell said... Um, if you're, he said, quote, if you're, and he says this in the video, if your fellow officer or if your fellow officer or fellow mate is doing something incorrect, you need to be like, Hey, you guys just tased him or you're choking him. Stop that. Acting on a tip. McDowell had marijuana officers pulled him over on Annie Glidden road near Lincoln highway. In a statement, the DeKalb police department said a felony amount of cannabis was found and McDowell attempted to flee. Officers attempted to restrain McDowell, who continued to resist. The statement continued. The DeKalb Police Department is reviewing all available footage, video footage, and statements regarding the use of force in this incident. Now, McDowell says, quote here, it's not OK. It needs to get out there. It happened one too many times. This happens every day. Four years ago, Illinois passed a law banning excessive force like a chokehold in specific situations. An investigation by Illinois State Police is ongoing. The DeKalb officer involved has been temporarily reassigned during the investigation. So, 
this happens every day. It seems like now we're doing editorials on cops who are going over the limit, who are breaking into people's homes and doing stuff. And, you know, some people may say, well, he was a felon and he ran, he ran from the police and he resisted. So he got choked. The uh, chokehold, it doesn't hurt anybody. Well, if Eric Garner were here today, I think he might tell you differently. Uh, and I only said that just now because I know I'm going to get people who go, well, he was a felon and he ran from the police. Boo, 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 boo. You know, again, I'm going to say it. I don't care what a person does in terms of like running from the police or fleeing or being a felon in possession of something or whatever. It's not the job of the police to choke them out, to tase them, to punish them, to say you're getting punished now, punk -o. You know, it's their job to detain and if needed, arrest and take in for the DA to press charges. That's their job. They're law enforcement officers. They're not punishers. They're not executioners. Uh, they're not judges. They're not attorneys. They're police officers or deputies. They're law enforcement officers. But some officers, the adrenaline gets to them and the hype gets to them. And I understand that they're human. I understand that the adrenaline and the blood pressure is up and everything's going on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I get all of that. However, in law enforcement in a law enforcement career it takes a special person it really does because you have to be able to bring your blood pressure down and slow your adrenaline and go breathe 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 it's over it's over it's over but some cops don't know how to do that and they just keep it going and and that's what happened to eric garner and that's why he's no longer with us because the cop didn't know how to back off his adrenaline and his blood pressure he in my opinion humble opinion he got pissed off and he choked the guy to death and in this case we kind of have a similar situation now in the video you see him reaching out he's reaching for his life he's being choked and he's probably getting scared and he's thinking i'm about to die here uh, especially after the eric garner story and then it resurfaced when they went back to that police officer being terminated so these guys are scared out there and i'm talking about young black men they're scared the cops put them in a chokehold they think i'm gonna die now uh, so do they try to de-escalate it no they start tasing him while he's being choked So I'm out of time. I'm going to put a link to the video and the story in the description box below. I want to know what you guys think, letting you know what's going on with law enforcement across your nation. This is another one, guys. And um, I mean, no, he shouldn't have ran from the police if he did. Uh, no, he shouldn't have had a felony amount of cannabis if it's illegal there. It shouldn't have it. But that doesn't mean the police get to choke and tase him at the same time. That doesn't mean the police get to escalate it and go, stop resisting. Stop resisting. You're still resisting. You're still resisting. No, de-escalation. You know what the word de-escalate means, cop? Some of them don't. Thank you, guys. News Now, you're letting you know what's going on with law enforcement across your nation. And thank you for watching. I love every one of you.